Hi guys! Ang topic natin for today ay about integral calculus and very common to sa integral calculus which is the area between curves. First, try muna natin i-derive saan ba nang galing yung formula na nakikita natin to get the area between curves. Let's say, meron tayong dalawang function dito. And yung una, is tawagin nating f of x. So, drawing lang natin. Random function lang to. And the other function, tawagin natin siyang g of x. So, ang task natin dito is to get the area between these two curves. So, the point where they intersect, tawagin natin A and B. So, yung two points na to ay nasa x-axis. Ngayon, paano natin makukuha yung area between these two curves? So, maraming paraan para mag-approximate ng area ng isang curve. So, yung iba ang ginagawa nila, hinahati nila into equal width na rectangle yung isang area. Then, tsaka nila sinasum ito. So, ang ginagawa ng integration, tandaan nyo, ang integration, special case to ng summation. Pero dito, nakukuha natin yung actual area talaga. So, ang gagawin natin, kukuha tayo ng isang representative strip. And yung representative strip na yun, ang magiging width niya is dx. Bakit dx yung gagamitin natin? So, ang target kasi natin, makuha natin yung actual area. So, kailangan yung width natin sobrang nipis or sobrang liit. So, tinatawag din natin siyang infinitesimal. Kaya, ang gagamitin natin is dx. Meaning, ang liit lang no nadadagdag dun sa width or parang ina-approach niya na yung value na 0. Pero, hindi 0. Ngayon, paano ba natin nakukuha yung area ng isang rectangle? So, kailangan natin ng width and ng height. Na-define na natin yung width niya as dx. Ngayon, paano natin kukunin yung height niya? So, to get that, we'll just subtract the upper function and the lower function. So, we'll have the area of the rectangle as the height, which is f of x, minus g of x, multiplied by the width, which is dx. So, again, nagsasum tayo, gagamit tayo ng integration, and ang limits natin is from a to b. So, ang ginagawa natin dito is para tayong nagsasum ng maraming rectangle, with the height na f of x minus gx, and with the width na dx. Tayo natin mag-work out ng dalawang example. For our first problem, let's say we're given two curves, which is y equals 4x minus x squared, and y equals x, the line y equals x. For this problem, given na yung graph ng dalawang line or ng dalawang curve, and given na rin yung point of intersection nila. So, to solve for the area of this, napin natin tong bounded, or yung area bounded nitong curve na to, and this line, so ito yun. So, to do that, kuha tayo ng representative strip natin. So, ang gagamitin natin for this ay vertical strip, meaning, yung magiging width ng ating vertical strip ay dx. And gagamitin natin yung formula na na-derive natin kanina. So, minsan makikita nyo rin siya as integral from A to B ng y upper minus y lower dx. So, pareho lang yun dun sa kaninang dinerive natin. So, yung ating y upper is 4x minus x squared. And yung ating y lower is itong y equals x. So, palitan lang natin, ano? Minus x dx. Ngayon, question, aling coordinate yung gagamitin natin dun sa point of intersection? So, tandaan nyo, kapag vertical strip ang ginamit natin, yung limit na gagamitin natin para sa integration is yung x coordinate. So, from 0 to 3. Simplify lang natin yung equation natin. Saka tayo mag-integrate. So, 0 to 3. 4x minus x is 3x minus x squared. 
dx. Applyan lang natin to ng power rule. So, we'll have 3x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. Question, nalagyan pa ba natin ng plus c? So, dito hindi na kasi definite naman yung integration natin. So, from 0 to 3. Paano ba natin to ine-evaluate? So, sa substitute lang natin from 3, tas ma-minus natin yung pag sinubstitute na natin yung 0. So, we'll have 3 times 3 squared over 2 minus 3 cubed over 3 minus, substitute natin yung 0 dito. Kung makikita ninyo, mag-equal lang naman yan sa 0. So, makukuha natin is 3 times 9 over 2 minus 27 over 3 or we'll have ilan to? So, 27 over 2 minus 27 over 3 is just equal to 9 over 2. Or, basically, the area bounded between these two curves is just equal to 9 over 2. Ganun lang, kasimple. So, yung second problem natin is this. Find the area bounded by the parabola y equals x minus 2 squared and the line y equals 1. For this problem, hindi pa given sa atin yung point of intersection nila, hindi natin alam kung sino ba yung y upper and yung y lower, or yung upper function and yung lower function. So, for this kind of problems, ang gawin natin, pinakamaganda, i-graph muna natin siya para ma-visualize natin ano ba yung magiging itsura ng area na kinukuha natin. So, given daw tayo ng isang parabola, and yung line na y equals 1. So, i-graph natin. So, sabi, si y equals quantity x minus 2 squared daw ay isang parabola. Recall natin, para madali natin ma-graph to, recall natin yung vertex form ng isang parabola. So, ano ba yung vertex form? So, yun ay equals sa y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k. So, sa vertex form na to, h and k, yun yung location ng vertex. So, h, compare natin. Para makuha natin yung vertex, compare natin ito. So, makikita natin that h is equal to positive 2. And, walang 0, oh, walang k. So, therefore, k is equal to 0. So, madali natin maipaplot yung ating parabola dito sa ating graph. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we know that yung vertex ng ating parabola ay nandito. And dahil positive to, we know that it is facing upward. So, drawing lang tayo ng very rough na parabola. So, ito yung vertex. Pagpasensyahan nyo na yung drawing. Then, drawing natin yung line na y equals 1. So, graph lang natin ulit. This is 1. Yung y equals 1, so ito lang yun, ano? Stang straight line lang. So, yung area na kukuha ni natin for this is ito. So, kuha ulit tayo ng isang representative strip. So, let's say ito yun. And again, yung kanyang magiging width is very small or infinitesimal. Tawagin natin dx. So, to get the area, we'll use the formula a equals the integral from a to b y upper minus y lower multiplied by the width dx. So, ano pang kulang natin dito? So, where na tayong y upper, that is y equals 1. And yung y lower na y equals x minus 2 squared. Kailangan natin makuha ngayon yung point of intersection nila. So, solve natin muna yun, ano? Sulat ko lang din to. At ito yung ating line na y equals 1. Ito yung ating curve or parabola na y 
equals x minus 2 squared. So, yung point of intersection, pag natin VOI, pag natin siya makukuha. So, we can see, parehong y ito, no? So, equate lang natin sila. 1 is equal to x minus 2 squared. So, expand lang natin to. 1 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Lipat natin sa kabilang side and we'll have 0 equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Factor out natin siya. So, x minus 3 times x minus 1. Therefore, yung value ng ating x ay 3 and 1. So, yung point of intersection ay ito at ito. So, yun ay may coordinate na 1, 1. And ito ay may coordinate na 3, 1. So, sulat na natin yung ating integral. So, the area is equal to integral from, again, dahil vertical strip yung ginamit natin. Gagamitin natin sa point of intersection ay yung x-coordinate. So, from 1 to 3. Yung y-upper natin, ito, no? ito yung nasa taas. So, that is 1. Minus y-lower is y equals x minus 2 squared. So, gamitin na natin itong expanded x squared minus 4x plus 4 dx. So, pagsamahin na natin to and we'll have 1 minus x squared. So, nahin ko na to. Negative x squared. Negative, negative. So, we'll have positive 4x. 1 minus 4. So, we'll have negative 3 dx. And again, using power rule, i-integrate natin to, and we'll have negative x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared over 2, or we'll have 2x squared minus 3x from 1 to 3. So, substitute lang natin yung first limit, 3, minus yung pag na natin, yung 1, dito sa equation ito. Equals. So, negative 3 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 minus, substitute natin yung 1. So, negative 1 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1. Simplify lang natin. We'll have negative 27 over 3. Plus 2 times 9 is 18. Minus 9. Minus negative 1 over 3. Plus 2 minus 3. So, simplify natin ulit to Negative 9 plus 18 minus 9 is 0. Minus 2 minus 3, negative 1. Minus 1 third is negative 4 over 3 times negative. So, mamaya ako na pala ilagay yun. So, 0 minus negative 4 over 3. And we can say that the total area bounded by these two curves is equal to 4 over 3 square units. Yun lang. Galingan nyo ulit. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like and subscribe sa Math 101. See ya!